What other ideas for teaching would you like to share? Another activity that's good for practicing top-down and bottom-up listening skills is role-playing. This type of activity often involves teaching different registers used in English as well. Registers refer to the language that is affected by the situation, such as the different language used in formal and informal situations. In my speaking and listening class, we start a role play activity by brainstorming words and phrases to use in a particular situation. For example, we would list words on the board that we can use when we are meeting someone for the first time. After brainstorming this list, we would divide these words and phrases into columns. We then discuss which ones we would likely use among friends versus which ones we would likely use in a professional situation. And of course, some may appear in both columns. We would watch a short video clip of people greeting each other and note their pronunciation and intonation. Then I would have them practice these greetings in formal and informal situations with their partners. And then they may present their play to the class. The audience, after listening, would guess the relationship between the speakers based on the words and phrases that they used. For example, in the play, was it a student and a professor who ran into each other at the library, or was it two friends or acquaintances? If the role play went something like this, hey, how's it going? Good, what's up? We might guess that this is not a conversation between a professor and a student. We might guess that they're peers the class could further discuss whether these peers know each other well or if they could just be acquaintances to have this type of greeting. In an activity like this, students are practicing top-down skills of understanding the situation and bottom-up skills of interpreting the words and expressions while they are listening for different registers. Professor Wilkin introduced top-down and bottom-up listening, and she pointed out that registers of formal and informal language affect listening. She showed what powerful concepts these are for planning instruction in listening, because each type of strategy suggests activities. We will look at more examples showing how technology can help. But first, let's listen to the advice Professor Wilkin has for teachers about teaching listening in the next video.